Today I'll be hanging some mounted prints on the wall using a French cleat. Now to make sure it's easy to place these where I want them on the wall, I'm setting the bottom edge of the mount system a known distance from the top of the print. In this case, six and a half inches, but that number is arbitrary and it could be different if your cleat pieces aren't as tall. I just want to make sure the top of the blocks will be at least an inch away from the edge to ensure a clean appearance. With the bottom wall side piece in place, I set the top piece against it and mark where it will go. I then double check the mark to make sure it's level with the top of the board so the artwork will hang squarely, and then make sure the block is centered across the width of the artwork. Because I'll only be using epoxy to hold the cleat onto the artwork, I make marks on all four sides so that it will be easy to know if the cleat is perfectly aligned. After this, I mark the location for a spacer block that will sit near the bottom of the piece. Its position is not especially important, I'm just marking a spot near the middle, at least an inch up from the bottom. Next I repeat this process for the other two pieces I'll be hanging today. Locate the top cleat position, double check it, mark the position. Pick a spot for the bottom spacer, and mark that too. And one more time, locate and mark the top cleat position. Locate and mark the bottom block position. Now it's epoxy time. I use a two part, five minute clear drying epoxy that's useful for all kinds of stuff. I like to mix it up on a paper plate using a toothpick. Make sure not to mix too much at once or it will start to set before you can use it all. I also use a toothpick to spread the epoxy on both sides of the materials being bonded. You could also use a craft stick or something similar, but I found that brushes don't typically work very well. Just scoop up a bit with a toothpick and spread it around on the pieces. Be careful not to get any on your fingers or you'll be marking up everything you touch. You could use nitrile or latex gloves as a safeguard so that if you do accidentally get epoxy on your fingers, you can just ditch the gloves and don another pair. However, I find that wearing gloves makes it more difficult to actually notice when something gets on your hand and I end up being messier than when I'm not wearing gloves. Normally I would clamp the pieces in place until the epoxy sets, but in this case I don't want to mar up the artwork on the other side, so I just press the piece in place, making sure it's on a level surface so that it won't slide around. I repeat the process for the spacer block at the bottom, then move the whole thing to a level surface while the epoxy cures. Now I repeat the whole epoxy process two more times for the other two pieces of art, mixing new epoxy when necessary. Now it's time to hang the pieces on the walls. I measure to the bottom of the wall side cleat by marking the distance chosen earlier, six and a half inches, plus the distance between the top of the artwork and the ceiling. In this case, I want the top of the artwork to be eight inches down from the ceiling molding, so I put my mark at eight plus 6.5 inches, or 14.5 inches altogether. After making sure this mark is also horizontally centered in the space, I mark the center of the cleat so that I can align everything later. I use a level to draw a horizontal line across my mark from earlier, then position the cleat onto that line with its center mark aligned to the center mark on the wall. Because my walls are 3 quarter inch thick cypress paneling, I can screw directly to the wall without needing an anchor like I would for drywall. I'll be using these 1 inch number 8 wood screws. To make sure the screws go right where I want them, I drill pilot holes in the cleat and put the screws in until they're just poking past the other side. Then I use this assembly to scratch a mark into the wall where the screws will go, and drill pilot holes there as well. With these pilot holes in place, I'm ready to drive the screws the rest of the way into the wall, where they hold the cleat securely. I double check that the cleat is level, and I'm ready to hang the piece. As you can see, the cleat piece on the back of the art will overlap with the piece on the wall, and by virtue of its own weight will be held snugly in place against the wall. Now it's just a matter of making sure the artwork sits in the correct position, and I make lots of measurements and nudges to make sure it's exactly correct. As before, I repeat this process two more times to hang the other two pieces where I want them. And there we have it, three pieces of art, easily hung on the wall. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please check out some of the other ones I've done and consider subscribing. Thanks. You have a great day.